Hey everyone, it's Thursday night and coin week is coming to a close, but we still have five more hours of some great coins and even better deals. So let's kick off the night like we do every night with our daily deal. The Morgan Dollar Program, the most historic silver dollar in American history, started in 1878, ran it through 1921, five mints all in all, 96 coins in the series, but these two are what we call significant. It's the finest San Francisco, the last New Orleans, and tonight we have it as a your choice at a great low price of just $79.95 each. That is a price that has us $95 less than our nearest competition for beautiful, uncirculated silver dollars like these iconic coins here. The 1881 S is item number 905-1278. And for the 1904 O Mint Morgan, it's item number 905-1350. So 905-1350. And we are just 79.95 while our limited supplies last. Let's go back to how this program started. I mean, you're talking about the late 1800s, the largest silver find in American history, the Comstock, Comstock load, load, right, uh, in Nevada. And then soon after that, the United States position to create silver dollars with all that silver. They passed the Bland-Allison Act in 1878, and here comes the Morgan dollar. Throughout the entire program, like I referenced earlier, 96 coins were made. Philadelphia, 28 coins plus one if you want to uh, add in that eight tail feather. I do. <laughs> we do. We always do because it's important. 28 San Francisco's, 26 New Orleans because New Orleans may closed and uh, 1908, 07. Uh, but the 040 was the last Morgan to be made out of New Orleans. There was 13 Carson cities and of course that one Denver of 1921. But these two are significant. Why? The San Francisco Mint made the finest coins, because at that point they were focusing on Morgan Silver dollars. And New Orleans, of course, the Southern Mint, and this was the last year of issue. We always bring up focus on first and last years of issue, so that is why we say these two are very special in the series. Now, out of 97, because I do include that eight tail feather, out of 97 total different Morgan dollar strikes, through the long history from 1878 to 1921, and experts believe unequivocally it is the 1881S that is the cream of the crop. It is truly a Morgan dollar that stands apart from the rest. Whenever you see one in person and put it next to any other Morgan dollar, you begin to see just what they're talking about. It is truly the finest example of the Morgan dollar design, and not that many have survived today. She referenced that the, these coins were created using the largest silver find in the history of the United States, thanks to the Bland-Allison Act. However, many forget about the 1918 Pittman Act that saw the vast majority of Morgan silver dollars destroyed for their silver content. As a result, some of these coins certainly just disappeared. The 1881S had a massive mintage of 12.7 million total coins, yet population reports today with NGC or PCGS in any grade whatsoever is 593,359 coins. That may sound like a lot, but it is less than 5% of the entire mintage. Just one in every 22 coins struck are still known today in any condition at all. When you can find the 81S with our competition, they want over $175 for a beautiful uncirculated piece. We are more than $95 less for these stunning 142-year-old silver dollars, the finest ever struck by the San Francisco Mint. Now sticking with the population report story, population report, census reports, that's basically every coin documented by the grading services. So when a coin comes in for grading, they put it on their report, every coin they've seen. So everything's free information for us to reference, and that is why we go and use that information to see where these coins line up, stack up against the others. The 19040, the last New Orleans Mint silver dollar from the Morgan Dollar series, if you compare that to some other popular omens, we always talk about 84, 85, 0. You're looking at populations of 100 to 200,000 less on the 04 compared to the 84 and the 85, 0. Yet the 84, 0 sells for 155 with our competition and the 85, 0 sells for 149. 
Does that make sense? Well, no, you it know. doesn't, especially <laughs> when you take into consideration uh, the 1904 O Mint and Morgan dollar had a relatively small mintage for the New Orleans Mint series, just 3.7 million total coins. That's a mintage low enough to make it the sixth rarest O Mint and Morgan dollar of all time and a top 50 out of all 97 in the series. It ranks at number 42. Yet despite having a very small mintage in comparison to other O Mint and Morgan dollars, it has an astronomically small population. When you compare it to the other common dates, there are just 307,931 1904 O's known in any condition at all today with NGC or PCGS. That means just one in every 12 or 13 coins struck exists in any condition whatsoever. That's less than 8.5% of the entire mintage. By comparison, the 840 and the 850 have well over 465,000 coins known today. That's well over 150,000 more examples known today than the 19040, and our 19040s are just 79.95 while our limited supplies last. That is a incredible value, and it gets even better when you compare it to our competitors' circulated coins. The 1881S and the 19040, in heavily circulated condition, where you can barely even make out the eagle's feathers on the breast or the Liberty band in her hair, they still want $126 per coin. Our beautiful uncirculated pieces are more than $46 less per coin, which means that you can grab both of these coins in beautiful uncirculated condition and also save more than $90 versus our competitors heavily circulated pieces. These are stunning examples. Uh, keep in mind that this eight, uh, 1904 is 119 years old. The 1881 is 142 years old. These are the original silver dollars. 2021, the United States Mint brought out a special 100th anniversary celebration for the last Morgan dollar, and they made 175,000 of each mint. These are the originals. This is what we were celebrating, this original program, 140 plus years old, almost 120 years old. And look how beautiful these are. You could see every single breast feather in those breast feathers of the eagle across the breast. And look at the bottom real quick on that coin. That's where the mint mark is. So your O mint is right above the, B on the, the D and the O in dollar and the S Mint will be there for the San Francisco. So it is a your choice, folks. If you want to grab the finest San Francisco, that's the 1881, experts agree, and the end of an era for New Orleans, that is the 1904. $79.95 per coin, save $95 each off our competition. They have their uncirculated coins at $175 each. We do have to put a 30 second clock up though, folks. I, phones are very, very busy. I just cut you off, Alex, sorry about that. But I'm um, looking at the calls coming in and yeah, this is, this is a good one. More than $95 less per coin for two of the most iconic Morgan dollars in the entire history of the series. The 19040, the final OMIT Morgan dollar ever made in U.S. Mint history, and the 1881S, what is without a doubt the finest Morgan dollar ever struck in the long and storied history. We are more than $95 less per coin, which means our stocks are going to disappear and disappear quickly. Make sure you call in now and grab these significant Morgan dollars while you still can. Because before long, these stunning silver coins are going to be lost to history.